Is your cold making it hard for you to get to sleep and leading to a bad morning? Switch to Mucinex Night Shift for fast, powerful, nighttime, multi-symptom cold and flu relief. Mucinex Night Shift fights your worst nighttime symptoms to help you get to sleep and wake up ready to go. Mucinex Night Shift. It's comeback season. Use as directed. You are listening to the new Mutual Audio Network. Welcome home. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that all children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. Good morning and welcome to the Sonic Society where the ear is clear and the movies are in your mind. I'm here with David Alt. Yes, and Jack Ward and I are your hosts to feature the world's greatest audio stories. This week we have part one of Zach Acker and Skip Bronchi's Shipworm. And it all begins right here on the Sonic Society. Yes. Can you please repeat what you think I said so we can... You said you wanted a separation. Yes. Over the phone. That's the point. How long have I been trying to talk to you alone? I don't know. Weeks. I have been trying for weeks. I'm sorry, it's been busy. At work, I know. Yeah. Can you at least intuit in some way why I would want a separation? This is not a trap. I don't... I don't know. Try. Did you... meet someone? No, I did not meet someone. That's boring. Okay, um... I can't really think right now. Okay, I'll tell you then. You don't talk to me anymore. How many times have I told you that bothers me? You're just... Closed off. I never know what you're thinking, what you're feeling. (sighs) What about Freddy? We will split custody if it comes to that. Hopefully he's young enough that it won't matter. Thank you. I know you won't hear me, but let me say this for the last time, that I think you need to talk to someone. I think what you went through over there isn't normal, and you can't pretend that... Stop. It isn't normal, and it had to have done something. Not all of us who went out there came back broken. But you did. I help people every day. I'm not talking about helping other people. I'm talking about helping yourself. I won't be home tonight. Please eat something before you drink. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, Wallace. Yeah. Whoa. Come in. I'm heading home for the night, Dr. Conway. Okay, Wendy. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. What do you think about this hurricane coming in? Uh, Dolly, you're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems like she's picking up steam. Well, we've managed before. Yeah. 
Um, Dr. Conway, do you want to hear a joke? Sure. <clears throat> a man walks into a doctor's office. He has a cucumber up his nose, a carrot in his left ear, and a banana in his right ear. Oh, boy. He asks the doctor, what's wrong with me? <laughs> the doctor replies, you're not eating properly. Can I write that down? Yeah. It's not mine. I, I found it on a website. See you tomorrow, Dr. Conway. Uh-huh. See you then. You're not eating properly. You're not eating properly. You're not eating properly. You're not eating properly. Eating properly. Eating properly. You're not eating properly. Sorry, my volume is up. What? The, the volume won't... Never mind. How can I help you, you, Marty? My back is acting up. I need a refill. Are you sure? I thought we... Please hang up the phone. Sorry, did you say something? Nothing over here. Wallace, hang up the phone. Are you not hearing another voice? Uh, only me and you, Doc. He can't hear me, uh, Dr. Conway. Uh, I'm just very con confused right now. You doing okay? I think. I just can't make sense of how Hang I... up the phone. Uh, Marty, I'm sorry. I, I gotta go. What about my reefer? Thank you for hanging up. Hello? Hello. Who is this? W where are you? You can call me the conductor. I am... Wendy, are you there? Yes. Yeah, can you come in here for a second? She's not going to be able to help you. What's up? Wendy, is anyone here? Where? Here. Or around here. Is, is there anyone? Besides you and me? Yes. Um, n not that I know of. Did anyone come in here before you? I just got here. So, um, but I, I don't think so. I told you she's not going Shh. to... You hear that? I don't hear anything, no. She can't hear me, she can't help you. She can't hear me, she can't help you, is what she said. Who? I, I don't know. Did you sleep here last night? Say no, and wish her daughter a happy birthday. Is it your daughter's birthday today? It is. <laughs> wow, thank you so much for remembering. She's five today. She's very excited about the pony we're bringing in. We really need to get <laughs> started, worry. Dr. Conway. I'm sorry, Wendy. I think I'm going to vomit. Oh, can I get... No, no, please leave. Okay, D just let me know. Yes, yes. <gasps> this is a normal side effect, so don't worry on that front. God, it's like it's... Right inside my head. I am inside your head. Mom? That's interesting. No, I'm not your mother. Oh, how much did I drink last night? 
You had four pretty full glasses of Noah's Mill, but that's not what's happening right now. <laughs> Am I going insane? No. You've been implanted with an untraceable and undetectable listening device that allows me to communicate with you. Oh God, I think I'm gonna throw up again. As I said, that's fairly common. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. I can explain, but first I need you to go to your computer and click on a link I've sent you. And then I need you to tell me how your wife likes her eggs. <laughs> false alarm. This is the last thing from a false alarm, Dr. Conway. So you're saying that you are an electric thing in my head? I am a person, but yes, the listening device. That's not going to work. But A for effort. I don't believe you're real. I am. I, I believe I'm emotionally compromised and hung over and experiencing some sort of... Break? Yes. You aren't. Well, you are emotionally compromised and you are hung over, but... Wendy? Yes? Can you tell Andre we need an x-ray prepped for a head scan? Yes. Is someone coming in? It's for my head, me. Are you okay? Just let me know when Andre's ready. Maybe you can click the link or tell me how your wife likes her eggs? No. I'm going to take an x-ray of my skull, I am going to see that nothing is in my head, and then I'm going to ignore you because you aren't real. You're going to take an x-ray of your skull and see that nothing is in your head, and that will prove that it cannot be detected, which is what I've already said to you. Well, that seems convenient. I have other more severe methods of proving my existence, Dr. Conway. What does that mean? Is it ready? Ready. Thank you. I'll be there in a moment. My patience will extend to the x-ray as a courtesy. How did you know it was Wendy's daughter's birthday? I know a lot of things. I must have seen it on a calendar. How does your wife like her eggs? Poached, but not runny. What? Uh, sorry. Uh, good morning, Andre. Uh, clearly haven't had food. I had a jelly donut. Oh, man. What kind? I don't know. Red kind. Love red kind. What are we doing? Um, full skull, please. Okay. Bite down. How about that game last night? Totally. Unbelievable. <laughs> what are we looking for? Hopefully nothing or something. I I'm not sure. It will be nothing. Anything specific you do or do not want to see? I honestly don't know. You, you okay, Doc? You seem a little out of sorts. I, I, I'm, I'm fine, Andre. Th thank you for asking. Please answer the phone when your wife calls. What? What? Uh, sorry. Can you just bring those scans to my office when they're ready? Yeah, sure. Yeah, some game, though, huh? <laughs> God. How did you know she was calling? Please answer the phone, Dr. Conway. Hi. I'm not sure how you did it, but please say hello next time. What do you mean? You don't have to sneak around and leave me breakfast without saying hello. I'm not going to bite your head off. Keep your cool. I just, um, I, I, I just wanted to surprise you. Where, where did you find it? On the counter where you left it, smartass. Right as I was about to break my fast, too. Poached, not runny, perfect all around. Hi, Marks. I'm so uh, happy to, to hear that. Uh, honey, I'm sorry, I have to go. There's a patient waiting. Call me later, mm -hmm. please. Mm -hmm. This is good. 
You're trying. Okay, talk later. I don't know if I can process this. We made your wife poached eggs, not runny, and left them on the counter for her in time to break her fast. How did you get in inside or, or, or any part of what you just said? We can, is the answer. Now please go to your computer and check your mail. I'm going to call the police. And tell them what? I, 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 I don't know, but get them there to her. We would have to enact a new set of measures if you involve the police. Enact a new... A what? Who, who is we? Why are we in my head and in my house and, and making my wife eggs? You're going to have to accept that you're not going to know that for quite some time. I, I'm not going to accept shit. This doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm standing in the middle of my office screaming at no one. It feels complicated, but it isn't. I tell you to do things, and you do them. Who the hell are you? I am the conductor. Th that's not a name! You're right. <sighs> do you feel better? No. No, I stack those in a very particular order. <sighs> when you're ready, please go to your computer and check your mail. Yes, when I am ready. I will choose when things happen. Okay, now I'm checking it under my own free will. What am I looking for? An email from Dr. Wallace Conway. Uh, that's, um, yeah, okay. Now click the link. Am I seeing my son sleeping in his crib? Do you see the teddy bear on the bookshelf behind him? Yes. Do you see the pair of scissors rammed into its chest? <laughs> Breathe, Dr. Conway. That's better. Just focus on your breathing and listen to my voice. You are not dreaming. You are awake. And there is a very thin line between what you are now and what you could be. Right now, you are the most important man on Earth. But on the other side of that line, where you don't listen to me, is pure nothing. Like you never happened. You don't have to believe in me, but you have to believe in that. I need you to understand your situation. I'm glad you took x-rays. It makes my job easier. Because if something is there, well, then you can point to that bad place and the world can help you make it all go away. But if something isn't there, which I assure you is the case, then you're just a guy standing in the middle of his office screaming at no one. Do you understand your predicament? Yes. Uh, Andre has your x-rays. <clears throat> Send them in. Hi, Wallace. I don't see anything. Yeah. I don't know what's going on, but that has to be good news. It's great, yeah. Thank you, Andre. Um, no problem, Wallace. I'm listening. I'm so happy we've come to an understanding. There is a larger plan that you, the most important person on Earth, are now a part of. You have to do every single thing that I tell you to do. Some things might feel strange or outside of your comfort zone, but you have to do them all the same. For, for how long? If this lasts more than 24 hours, you'll be dead. Oh, uh, 
What, what if I'm successful? Then I will just have been a voice in your head, which I am. Is this because of Camp Nama? No. Well, not like you think, anyway. Now, go to your desk and open the second drawer from the top on the right. What the f- is- Inside, you will find a large hunting knife and a claw hammer. Pick one. Uh, uh, for what? Uh, for what job? Pick one. I, knives make me nervous. Then you should take the claw hammer. But, but what if I need a knife? What if, indeed. You have selected the claw hammer. Congratulations, this was the right choice. What would have happened if I took the knife? Just be happy you didn't. I'm messing with you. This doesn't matter at all. Jesus Christ. Are you ready to hear what your first assignment is? Uh, okay. I need you to get something from a safety deposit box in the Citizens National Bank on Park Street. My sister's bank? Yes. Is the safety deposit box yours? No. You want me to rob a bank? That's right. I need some coffee first. Can I ask what I'm taking from the bank? Sure. What am I, um, taking from the bank? You already know what it is, you just don't know it yet. I, I, I don't know what that means. I promise that I'll be honest with you when I need to. I don't think that counts as being honest. Are you concerned for my soul? I'm concerned for my family. Good. It, it's not good. I, I'm doing what you say, but... Don't say it's good. Fair enough. Get your coffee, Wallace. Wallace! Hey, Judy! <laughs> How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. I never got a chance to thank you for taking my shift at the soup nah, kitchen. Uh, no need. <laughs> Such a sweetheart. <laughs> Bark like a dog. Uh, thank you, Judy. Uh, Say hi to care for me. Oh, I surely will. Mm -hmm. Bark like a dog. Now, do it. What's that, dear? Louder. Oh, I'm sorry, Judy! <sighs> hey, Suraj. Uh, can I get a large... Yes, Dr. Wallace. Flash and mode coming up. Some game last night, huh? Unbelievable. Why did I just bark like a dog? Please don't insult our months of planning by asking motive questions. Possible purpose would barking at Judy Davis serve? That's a better question, but I'll answer later. This is insane. Not everyone is going to think I'm insane. Now, now. Everyone here thinks you're decent and kind. I hope they give you some leeway. Now, I need you to steal a loaf of bread. What? Coffee's ready, Dr. Wallace. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, why am I stealing a loaf of bread? The sourdough and the purple label there, to be more specific. I, I, I have money. Let me just... If pay. you can't steal a loaf of bread, you can't rob a bank. What are you, Patches O'Hulan? I don't want to steal from this man. This is his livelihood. I really wish you would move past questioning me. I don't want to have to prove myself again. It's a real time and energy drain. <sighs> How do you propose I steal bread? I'm not going to tell you how to tie your shoes, sweetheart. You're the only one in here, there's one man at the counter, and you have to get past him with a loaf of bread. 
I'm paying for the coffee. Fine. Is, is this the right bread? Indeed. Oh, ah, oh, crap. Suraj, I, I'm such a klutz. What happened? I, I, darn jelly. Did you cut yourself? <sighs> no, no, I'm, I'm just an idiot. It slipped from my hand. It's okay, Doctor. I'll clean it up. Your coffee's on the counter. I'm, I'm so sorry, Suraj. Don't apologize. It happens to the best of us. Yeah. Money's on the counter. Say hello to Kamya for me. That does it. You're a hardened criminal. I don't even like sourdough. That was at least a little bit exhilarating, right? I just feel like an asshole. Dr. Conway! Hey, hey how are you? Emma? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should hold a phone to your head so you're not just wandering the street talking to yourself with a loaf of bread and a hammer tucked into your pants. Much better. So what am I doing now? I can see the bank. Gotta make a pit stop first. A pit stop? What does that mean? Your friend Arlene lives near here, right? Yes. Why don't you go say hi? Under what pretense? It's important you get inside. Please don't make me bark at Darlene. I promise not to make you bark at Darlene. Just head that way. What do you know about your friend Darlene? What do you know about my friend Darlene? Let's pretend I don't know anything. I don't believe you. you. You seem like a horrifying person who knows everything. I don't know everything. Let's just walk through it together. I know her from the Alabama Ornithological Society. We're both members. We go to Dolphin Island nearby for the keynote speaker each spring. We go birding there sometimes. It, it's, it's one of the best bird-watching places in America, actually, because the birds coming in from the Gulf... So they... you both love birds? Yes. What else? What, what do you mean, what else? What, what are you looking for? I, I don't like giving answers to someone who knows them already. We can talk about something else. I don't want to talk just to talk. Okay. Let me tell you about something that interested me recently. A couple years back, there was this experiment done in Texas where they took a bunch of dead bodies and dumped them all over this plot of land just to let animals eat them, specifically to watch the animals eat them. So when they find carcasses in the woods, they know what kind of marks specific animals leave when they leave them. You get the idea. So they set up these motion sensing cameras that start up any time a coyote or bear or whatever comes around to feast. I didn't hear about this. Where, where, where did the bodies come from? From dead people. Where else do bodies come from? Are these people you killed? Is this supposed to scare me? Would you just let me finish? Thank you. So one day, they're reviewing the previous night's footage, and what do they see? I can see her in the kitchen. Hang on, you'll like this. What they saw in the footage was a little white-tailed deer with a human rib sticking out of his mouth. Deers are herbivores, right? Exactly why it fascinates me. It was the first time anyone had ever seen a deer scavenging human remains. They're one of the most observed wild animals on Earth, and this wasn't even a possibility before it was caught on camera. Crazy, right? Are you telling me something? Is this a riddle or... Oh, sh she saw me. She she's waving. Shit. Hi, Darlene! I just thought it was interesting. Sometimes even Bambi can surprise you. Am I Bambi? Wallace, what a lovely surprise. <laughs> I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd say hi. <laughs> Is that bread for me? Um, yeah. I can't believe you remembered my favorite bread. What a sweetheart. I was just running low. Uh, of course, it's for you. Now I'm ready for the hurricane. Is that a hammer? Uh, yes. I was just putting together furniture at the office and, uh, you know. It... Sure, uh -huh. sure. <laughs> Would you like to come in? That'd be great. Uh, just, just for a few. Shh. Do you hear that? Is that a prothonotary warbler? No, that's a hooded warbler. That's a hooded warbler. Really? Ah, oh. uh, you're right. Well, if age didn't give me wisdom, I don't know what the hell else it's for. 
come inside. I have tea. How's Amaya? Good, good. Uh, they just landed a new big account. A law firm, I think. And Freddy. <laughs> He's great. Uh, <laughs> no, he, he took his first steps the other day. Wonderful. <laughs> what a time. <sighs> it goes so fast. Yeah. How are you? I am pretty fantastic, actually. <laughs> well, except for this damn storm coming in. Yeah? Yeah. Do you remember the research I was telling you about? The bacterial strains and the shipworms? Yes, I do. I think we have made a major breakthrough. Really? Yeah, and, and just in time, too. These hurricanes giveth and they taketh away. <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm not technically supposed to talk about this. You but... don't have to. I mean, maybe you shouldn't. Well, as I, I think as a doctor, you should Darlene, have... Darlene, I, I just... I would be uncomfortable you know, using our friendship like that. Get her out of the room, Dr. Conway. Would you like some tea? Did you mention you got a new pair of bins? Oh, yes, I did. Ah, do, uh, can I see them? They're upstairs. You won't believe the clarity. <laughs> Do you see her keys resting in the ceramic bowl next to the refrigerator? Yes. I need you to quickly and carefully remove the key to her safety deposit box. Oh, God. Is that what this is? Now. <laughs> which one? You know which one it is. The smaller gold one with 315 etched into it. <sighs> quickly, quickly. It's so compact. They're the most I have ever paid for binoculars, but I figured, why the hell not? Bird watching brings me as much joy as anything in my I'm life. I'm going to so give you something to say to Dr. Pendergrass. Repeat after me. I want you to know how much I admire you. I, um, uh, sorry. I, I want you to know how much I admire you. Oh. Well, that's sweet of you. And how much you loved Bill with all your heart. And how much you loved Bill with all your heart. And how even now that he's gone. And how even now that he's gone. Your love for each other is an inspiration. Your love for each other is an inspiration. And it makes me want to be better. And it makes me want to be better for Amaya. You're a good man, Wallace. You just can't hide your head in the sand when it comes to love. Or life, for that matter. I know. Now, how about some tea? I need to go. You okay? Fine. I'll see you soon, okay? Off to the bank now, I presume? Yes. You seem agitated. Why did you make me say that? You wanted to say that. It's not right. To bring up Bill like that, it, it's, it's not right mixing what I said with what I did. Hold the phone to your head, Dr. Conway. I told you you knew what was in the box. How long have you been following me? Tracking, listening, whatever? Why do you ask? Because Darlene told me about her system with the bank months ago. Whatever and... you think of me, it's worse than that. I know everything. Everything you know, I know. There are no secrets. I hope you see that as the blessing and the curse that it is. Why is this happening? Because you're the most important person in the world. You should start walking. So is her breakthrough what this is all about? Mostly, yeah. Am I getting her research and then giving it to you? You're not giving it to anyone. 
Money. Of course, money. Is it really going to change medicine? Yes. Will whoever gets this use it for that? Cross my heart and hope to die. Okay. We good? No. Will you do what I say? Yes. Then I just have to win you back with my charm, I guess. So I have to convince my sister to open a safety deposit box that isn't mine with a key I definitely shouldn't have. Yes. Do you have any suggestions on how I should do that? Don't get caught. You're a doctor. You're a man of the world. You tell hard truths every day. You lie all the time. You'll find your way. Yeah. Dr. Conway, <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Hey, Alex. How's your wrist doing? Right as rain. Mm. Thank you for asking. Uh, so, Michelle, how's you doing the rehab exercises? Oh, yeah. I do them all day just sitting here. Perfect. Perfect. Is Hannah in? Yeah. Just give me one second. Poor girl has a tan line Dr. where Conway her wedding ring should be. Yep. He's right here. Yes, ma'am. You can go right back. Thank you. Bad marriages aren't contagious, are they? Stop. Not while I'm with her. Sir, yes, sir. Come in. Come in. <laughs> Is everything okay? Freddy's good? Yeah. yeah. Everything's fine. Good. It's just weird you're here. <sighs> Is it the hurricane? I, I needed to talk to you. Okay. Have a seat. And do you mind, um... Closing the door. Sure. <sighs> Why do you have a hammer tucked into your pants? I've had a, a weird morning. I, I, I don't know. Are you sure everything is okay? Uh, yes, Hannah. I'm, I'm fine. I, I just need to ask you to do something for me. Of course. Anything. I need to open a safety deposit box. Sure, we have some available. No. I need to open one. You don't have a safety deposit box here, Wallace. I know that. What is happening? Whose key is that? Hannah, uh, listen to me. I'm in a very tough spot right now, but I can't tell you why. You could certainly try if you want. I... I just need you to trust me. I do trust you. But you're asking me to help you rob someone. It's not... Li Listen, I promise that what I'm taking, I'll bring it back before the end of the day. You know that doesn't matter, right? You're asking me to do the opposite of my job. Do you think I would ask you to do this if I had any other choice? You have to tell me what's going on. I can't. You can. You wouldn't believe me. Wallace, it's me. I'm sure whatever is happening, we can figure out a way to... You owe me. You know, I would never bring it up, but you do. How do I owe you? Exactly. Do you really want to get into this? Yes, I want to get into this. I had... I dropped out of school. I did not ask you. So to do you that. wouldn't have to. You managed. You went back, you finished. You're a doctor with your own practice. Do you think I wanted to go the military route to do it? I mean, do, do you know what I went through? No, Wallace, I don't. No one does. This is the problem. I watched her die. So you wouldn't have to. When you think of our mom. You think of that strong, happy person who made birthday cakes and Halloween costumes. How dare you? When I think of our mom, I think of someone who couldn't breathe. Someone I could carry in my arms like it was nothing. I mean, diapers, showers, 
I had nightmares for years after, where she was screaming and crying, begging not to die. You, you don't know that part. Only I know that part. So you wouldn't have to. So when I say that you owe me, that I need you to do me this favor without asking why, that's why. You should be ashamed of yourself. I am. What box number is it? 315. Follow me. Hi, Dr. Conway. Uh, hello. Back here. Put your key in. Turn. <sighs> Turn around. No. You have to do this in front of me. That's it? A flash drive? When we get outside the vault, just keep walking. I'm not going to ever forget this. Bye, Hannah. Thank you. Get a mint. What? Get a mint next to the potted fern there. Coffee breath, Wallace. Uh, <sighs> that was excellent work. I think I'm gonna be sick. Wallace! Oh no. I can't do this. Shit. Can't do what? I have to report this. I can't lose everything like this. Uh, Dr. Conway, what? you need to run. Please, don't involve the police. I'll, I'll make it's this- It's too late. I already pushed the silent alarm. What? I'm just giving you a five minute head start. Run right now. What? No one's going to believe Dr. Wallace Conway did it anyway. I, I, I know I wouldn't have before today. Run, you dumb asshole! You have to get to a car. You leave, she called the cop. It's not important. You have to get to a car. It is important. My own sister. It doesn't. It happens. Now we deal with it. Get a car. My, my car's right up here. Not your car. They know your car. Why the hell am I going to get another car? They gear it out, but fast. That's shit. I don't know. Just keep moving and think. I, um, I, I, I'm going back to the office. Jesus, you're bad at this. I'll, I'll, I'll use Wendy's car. It's fine. Stop talking. It wastes air. I need to spend some time thinking this over. <laughs> thinking over what? You're now what? a wanted man, Dr. Conway. Everyone knows who you are here. Everything changes now. I, I'm definitely going to be sick again. Just keep moving. I'll be back shortly. What, what, what do you mean? Where, where are you going? Hello? Shit! 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 Hold on. Oh, Jesus. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine. Can I get you some water? Uh, no, no. no. Uh, okay. W Wendy, my car is, is not working. I, I, I need to borrow your car. Why do you have a hammer? Uh, not important. Can I borrow your car? Of course, yes. 
You're not gonna ask me why? No. I know you need it if you're asking me. God, you're just a good person. So are you, Doctor. I'm gonna go to my office for a second. I'll grab the keys from you on the way out. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, you're back. What are you doing, Dr. Conway? I, I just need to take care of something. You definitely do not have time for whatever this is. The police will come here to search my office, yeah? Yes. Well, if anyone finds my journals, I'm going to end up in a psych ward. That's what matters to you right now? These are my life. My thoughts. They're mine. Yes, they'll never find them in your garbage can. Rubbing alcohol? What are you doing? I'm controlling my narrative. I'm genuinely shocked by how important this is to you in this exact moment. Good. I'm glad to finally surprise you. At least move it to your bathroom. Yes? There is an Officer Lien on the line for you. Police? Yes? Shit. I'm not here. Oh, but... You are? I just need you to get him off the line, Wendy. Okay. Understood. I'm coming right out. You're just going to leave them burning? The officer said he was going to come by. Okay. Can I have your keys now? Um... Please. I really need this. Okay. Thank you. So much. And, and please don't worry if a, a little smoke comes out of my office. Did you say smoke? I can't believe this is happening. I can't, I can't believe this is happening. Just keep moving. Your brain can deal with this later. How am I going to explain this to a Miami? She already wants to leave me. Again, future problems. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Is, is everything just gone now? Doctor, you have to get your shit together. There's a fast food bag in Wendy's car there. Good. Just keep breathing. If you do what I tell you to do from here on, you'll be fine. Do you hear that? Doesn't matter. You need to get in the car. It sounds like a... Get in the car, Wallace. Uh, there's, there's a fire in the office. Uh, can everyone get out? I don't. I don't know. When, where's Andre? Oh God, uh, I don't know. Get in the car. I, I'm taking this blanket. Wait here. You have to get out of here. I told you to move the flaming garbage can to the bathroom. Shut up! You need to hear me. If you get caught by the police, your family is gone. That is what you're running into. <laughs> Andre! Andre! Andre, can you hear me? Andre! Oh God! Andre! 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 Can you, can you hear me? Can, can you stand? Come on, we, 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 we have to move! We have to move and use your legs! There you go! Come on! Come on! Come on, we, we have to get you to the stairs! Come on! I said, I said you're, you're doing great. You're doing great, Andre. Come on. Just, just focus on getting down the stairs. Come on. Come on. Hey, 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 Andre, Andre, stay with me. Stay with me. Listen, listen. 
the, the, the first week, the first week I was in Baghdad, we came across this woman scre screaming in the street, pointing up at her apartment on the second floor, flames shooting out of a window, and, and I heard her say, Tiffle, Tiffle, which means baby, over and over and over, and, and, and so, so, so I ran in before anyone could say otherwise, huh? So I, I'm staying low. I'm trying to find a baby, right? M meanwhile, all I can hear is this, this cat, just this cat, just mewling. It just won't shut up. So, so, so I grab the cat, and it, and it starts scratching the hell out of me. <laughs> and I, I, I search the whole apartment. Like flames all around me, and no baby. But, but the cat is still in my arms, just scratching and hissing like crazy. So, so, so before we both end up cooked, I, I get out. I take the cat down, and, and before I can start apologizing about her baby, she starts screaming, Tiffle, Tiffle, at the damn cat. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you know, all, all the guys just, they call me Scratches after that. I mean, they're, they're all just stories now. But th this will, will be a story. Time is running out, Doctor. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to, to leave you here so, so people don't crowd you. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. Did you catch the cat? I, I, I don't know. Thank you, Doc. <laughs> Saving my life. I'll check in on you later. He's fine! Thank you again, Wendy! Move, move, move. Take a left on the way out. Where am I? No more asking questions. You're taking a left and you're driving to Dolphin Island and you better hope no one stops you. You realize how incredibly stupid all that was. I'm not going to let someone die because of me ever again. I don't think you fully grasp the situation. I don't want to talk right now. Fine. Enjoy your moment of peace, Dr. Conway. Welcome to the Shipworm Intermission. Refill your popcorn, use the bathroom, or simply settle in for the second half of the movie. Shipworm is created by 2UP and it's something new in podcasting. It's a feature-length one-off audio movie and you're listening to it for free, sponsor-free. If you like what you hear and you want to hear more unconventional original shows like it, please consider telling your friends about Shipworm or giving the show a rating and review. If you haven't listened to any of our other originals yet, check out our psychological thriller, Limetown, which is now a TV series on NBC's Peacock, and 36 Questions, our musical podcast starring Jonathan Groff and Jesse Shelton. Thanks again for listening to this two-up audio movie. And now, back to the show. And that's this week's show. Please check the show notes for links for Two Up Studio on sonicsociety.org. And join us next week for the conclusion of Shipworm. Until then, I'm Jack Ward. And I'm David Alt. Have a wonderful day. The 
Sonic Society is written and produced weekly by Jack J. Ward and David Alt, with original music by Sharon B. at SharonB.com. All features, interviews, and audio drama shorts are owned completely by their originators and provided to the Sonic Society by Creative Commons Licensing. The Society itself originates from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Thanks for listening. This has been an Electric Vicuna production.